How are you, folks? It is Diecast Buffet hey, here again. Welcome back to NASCAR 06. No, not Thunder 04. Not Chase of the Cup. No, it's NASCAR 06 Career Mode. So, unfortunately, we're, we're, we weren't able to run Richmond because we had to go uh, race the truck race. Can't qualify in because we're not top 29 or top 35 in points for the Bush Series. But we can load up and head out to the Lowe's 300 or Lowe's Motor Speedway for the CarQuest 300. Now, um, I don't know what, what what the heck. Hold on. Oh, but our phone started ringing. I wanted to see what's going on. So we're a two-car uh, Bush team, but it's a three-star prestige team. The, the prestige you see on your screen is for your driver, your, your, like your player yourself. But the team's a three-star team, which is really unusual for a backmarker. We have to qualify top 35 to make the show. So that is the benchmark. Now, this is a Dodge. We run Toyotas in the trucks, but we, we're, we don't have a full-time manufacturer commitment, right? Toyota's only in the truck series in this playthrough, so they have no um, they have no dog in the hunt, so to speak, in terms of the Bush and the Cup series. And then you have Dodge, which this is just a backmarker team. They probably don't even get much manufacturer support, so there's, there's no manufacturer, like, you know, developmental there. Um, once you start getting to the big teams, then that's when, okay, only GM cars, only Mopars, Chrysler, whatever, right? I'm curious how the fast this car is, because this is a three-star vehicle. This should have some speed. So let's see. This is our second ever attempt at a bush race. We, we raced Michigan last year, ran kind of poorly, and then we went out there. And then um, finished dead last. But look at the speed in this car. I mean, this th this is incredible, guys. This is this is like Kyle Petty. Like, wow, that's incredible. Coming off turn four for the first lap, it looks like a top ten qualifying effort. Eighth place. Holy moly, this thing's fast. So we're in the shell. We're gonna make our second ever Bush Series start. Here at the 07 Charlotte weekend. Last year we drove a Chevrolet at Michigan. This year we're driving a Mopar. I mean, we're all over the board. <laughs> we're driving a Toyota of the trucks. We drove a Chevy last year. We drove a Dodge. I mean, we're just trying to find our way in the sport. That's going to kill the run there, but we're going to still gun it to the line and see. That's a good looking car. Seventh. I'll take it. I love them Dodge Charger front ends. They are beautiful. So we're in the show, 7th place, it's got some speed guys. I'm really excited about this car. So let's check out what the heck's going on here. Um, let's see. So we failed the challenge, that's great. Oh! You may get a race suit. We haven't even raced a race and it says you may get a race suit. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll take it. Alright, so we're locked into the show here. And, uh, well, let's go race in 16 laps. Our second ever Bush race. This is going to be fun. I don't know what the average running position is for this team. It could be top 20. It could be top 30. I have no idea. But what I do know is this, this Dodge Charger has some real speed in it, guys. I'm telling you, this thing has got some speed. I like what I see out of this car. EA Sports, welcome. All right, fellas, here we go. So we're finally in somewhat of a good Bush car. And we're up here with the big guys. So we need to just kind of settle in and find our way. Because these guys are fast. I mean, this is the, the Hendrix. This is the, the, the Gibbs. Just slow down. Let it come to you. Don't worry about the outside. Take care of it. This is only our second ever bush start. We had to qualify our way in early this week. So just take care of the car. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't do that. Oh, I'm sorry. My bad. Look, just take care of the car and it'll come to you. Take care of the car, come to you. Turn four at Charlotte, it's always a bugaboo. Take care of the car, it'll come to you. I gotta keep reminding myself because it's not as good as our truck, right? So this thing is still loose. I could imagine late in the run it's gonna be a doozy. But the whole concept is just to put one solid race together. Just go out there, find a way to finish this thing, get log laps. And impress the team owners. That's what I want to do. And we're going to hit the wall. It's okay. It's okay. No problem. Keep digging. You're, you're pretty much a, a rookie of rookies here. 
second career start, so. Inside, let him go. Inside, inside. There we go. Let him go. Let him go. Oh, you saw that. You saw how loose that car got off the corner. Wow, that was close. So I'm not saying this is like championship level or anything. Not at all. But this is a good car. Like this is a good, solid top 20 feeling car. This this number six car needs to take a freaking hike, though crown in my back bumper and this thing's all over the racetrack I'm trying to hold her off it's Aaron Crocker in the number six <sighs> fudge me this number six car won't go and as soon as she gets underneath our car she's gonna freaking make us go three wide I'm just gonna let her go as soon as we go three wide we're gonna wreck so I'll just I'll help out the fellow Mopar and um, we'll move on and live the fight another day Lap 5 out of 16 here. No, 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 no. The thing started to do the slidey. That thing was about to do a four-wheel slide. I could just feel it on the apron. You just get that sensation. That's a beautiful-looking car in front of me, that Monte Carlo. Number 5, or lap 5 out of 16. I'm starting to think of adjustments we need to make to this thing. I don't want to go any looser on the wedge because it would not be a stable race car. So what I'm thinking is is potentially just a little bit of an air pressure adjustment, maybe. I don't think we could tighten the car up anymore and make it any better. I think that'd be a mistake. I don't know. Let me tell you, these guys are hounding me from behind here. I gotta go all the way down the apron just to get these Bozo McGee's from dive bombing the corner. I'm trying to use a little bit of brake instead of lifting so I don't hurt the momentum, but we still got to survive with this freaking... You know what? I think actually I'm going to tighten up the car. I, I think I'm going to actually tighten it up for the long run. I can just... I just feel like this car is starting to slip, 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 slip. No, 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 no. Save it, save it, save it, save it. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to need a new pair of drawers after that one. That was... that. That's how you get the Hershey squirts, fellas. That is a bona fide Hershey Squirt Charlotte turn two exit. Okay. We need to get on pit road immediately. I cannot control this car much longer. I mean, I'm going to have to lift and let... Oh, nope. There's a car. Oh, oh, oh there we go. Told you. Just, just told you. Just too much. Could not hold on to it. I mean, once they start, once the tire goes, everything goes. And there's a car on my outside, and it's going to make me even looser, and we're going to hit again and probably hit another car on the inside and probably go three wide and wreck. I can't get to the bottom here. Gosh, dang it. Okay. Smorgage board. Repair, tighten up. Look, we don't have time to repair that. Actually, no. Fudge it. Let's just do it. How y'all doing out there, fellas? Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Second career Bush race. First race in a Mopar. I'm pretty happy with this car, guys. It's It feels pretty good. We're going to try to see if we can get that deck lid down a little bit. Just a smidge. Take a sledgehammer. You can drop the tire on it if you want. I could care less. Just get me a little bit of downforce in that rear. We're going to tighten the car up to make an adjustment. 18.5 uh, second pit stop. Not the greatest. Ooh, big contact on pit road with the 184 car. All right, okay. green racetrack. Looks like the spoiler didn't really get worked on too much. That's unfortunate, but you know what? We're going to try to see if we can wing it on home. We tighten the car up, which is a timely adjustment uh, with that spoiler damage. That could, you know, if it reduced any of the downforce, yeah, we definitely need um, a, a wedge adjustment to tighten it up. It's going to be very... Um, tight early in the run, but as the run goes on, we're going to have that grip and that ability, and that's what I'm looking for. I want to have a long run car, so in theory, you really want to make sure you, you, you're you able to get a good run early on. Now, we lost a lot of track position there during the bad pit stop and the, the, the squirrely tire fiasco. Nothing I can do about it. That was a miscalculated adjustment. I should have prepared... Um, for that early on. This guy's probably going to door slam us. So, we'll see. I'm going to try to make... Oh, no, no, he's going to throw that block. He almost got hooked. 
Look, man, I'm trying to get by you. Is that Bobby Labonte? Yeah, that's two-time defending Bush champion Bobby Labonte outside of the top 30. Wow. That ain't, ain't that something. There's Dale Earnhardt Jr. here. What What is going on? That is crazy that Dale Jr. is running this bad at Charlotte. That is crazy. And you got... Oh, no, 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 no. Save it, save it. Oh, my gosh. That was bad. I mean, this thing literally turned into a tornado. Watch this. And it pops again. Bam. Holy moly, that was scary. We gotta get another angle of that. Check this out. Just around like nothing. And then bam. That's a crazy wreck. All right, so um, we're 33rd out of 43. I'm going to stay out. Hope the damage doesn't... Hope the parts don't fall off this thing. We're going to have no no grip whatsoever. Uh, this is a bad idea. This is a bad idea. This is a very bad idea, y'all. Car's going to handle like a dump truck, but what can you do? Should at least... Oh, yep, there's the debris caution. Well. We're going to stay out. I mean, I need I need to I need to get some points. I need to, I need to, you know, put some reps in, so to speak. It's all about repetitions here. And lap 14 out of 16. Clint Boyer in the AC Delco number two car is out front. You know, in theory, this thing actually might turn really well. Because that spoiler, the way it's arched, it, in reality, the trunk itself has became a part of the spoiler. That's good. Oh, caution's on the speedway. That's a Dale Jr. hood, I think, just came off. But that spoiler's way up in the air. That's going to give you so much downforce. Check this out. Oh, that's a 135 car. A uh, piece of debris came off that piece. Hey, at least I'm not the only one that didn't pit. I thought that was Dale Jr. behind me. It wasn't. So, uh, the knee-high septic Monte Carlo is going to be dropping a load on the track. And uh, we'll get that cleaned up. And back, green flag racing. Now, again, there is green-white checkers in this game up to three attempts. It, it doesn't say when they initiate it. I think we're on the second attempt. I could be mistaken. It doesn't say when it initiates it. So um, you kind of have to keep up with that by yourself, which is fine. Hey, man, at least we're not dead last so far. I'm surprised how well this thing actually turned in the corner, though. Man, this guy's heating me up from behind, man. He's trying. Tires are worn. I wonder if these guys can make it on fuel if we keep having green-white checkers. That would be interesting. I, don't, I think everyone's good, though. That would be interesting, though. One thing about Charlotte is that when you're lift, when you're coming off the corner, you have to lift and you have to stop steering. Because if you steer while you're on the gas, the thing will come back around real quick. Look, I'm not trying to pass anyone right now. Like I, I would love to, but I can't put my car in that position to make an aggressive pass. If they want to be a lame duck, that's fine. But I cannot put my car in a position to do so. Like right there, I got to lift. I, I'm, I'm about to lose the car. I got to lift. I, I gotta lift. I gotta play it smart. Just get it on home. Tough, tough bush race. I wish it would have went better. We had a great qualifying effort. We got caught up in a mess. Um, live and learn, but Clinton Boyer is gonna get the big W for Childress here at Charlotte. And uh, we made some rivals. We made some allies. <laughs> made more money running borderline dead last. And we did in the Truck Series race finish in second. Here's your finishing order of the night's Car Quest Auto Parts 300. Our teammate got 14. So that tells me that this team is about a 15th place car team, give or take. Which is a good thing. That's what you want. You can win from 15th. If you can be consistent, you can win. Bottom of the barrel is going to be Martin Truex Jr. What? That's crazy. Let's see if our teammate from the Root Beer car comes over here. Uh, apparently not. 
hey, you know what, you have a bad race, it's okay, right? It, it's okay, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll load up and get to the next one. Can't win them all, you know what I'm saying? All right, so that's it for today's episode of, uh, well, NASCAR 06. The next event's going to be at Levi Strauss Raceway, and then after that, we'll be heading out to Dover for some good racing, if we can qualify. I like this car, and this is another thing I'm going to do. I'm going to make a schedule of how many races we're going to actually schedule to run this year, because I like this piece. I'm going to pick out the best tracks, because we're not going to run full, full time, um, and we're going to, you know, because we're going to focus on the truck series this year. But I'm going to look and we're going to pick out a schedule of the tracks I truly think I can win at or be competitive at. So I want to say thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Ryan Newman is running away with the series, by the way. Um, if you'd like to help support the channel, feel free to check out that promo code. Use code DieCastBuffet at CircleBDieCast. Uh, you don't have to, but if you want to, you can. Brian Vickers is the last car currently in the chase, though it's very early. Bradley Riley is out front. I still don't see any of the Everham cars, so I guess they just, they're not going to compete in 2007, interesting enough. And um, John Hamilton's out front, so we're 73 points out in that uh, in that series. So thank you all so much, guys. Have a great one. God bless. Diecast Buffet, signing off.